Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Um, we got a little weird topic to talk about, and this uh, pertains to Apple um, in the works for a deal with Google to be able to use Gemini on iPhones, right? So um, I do have uh, Gemini on my Pixel 7, and uh, how weird would it be Gemini being on iPhones? Um, so when you kind of think back a little bit, right, uh, throughout the years, it's, you know, one thing that has been made uh, pretty apparent to a lot of us in the tech space is that uh, Google Assistant had been leaps and bounds ahead of Siri. Um, Siri still being helpful, not taking away from Siri, but Google Assistant just had a better response, better understanding uh, of, um, you know, questions and commands given to it. And so, you know, most people felt that like Google Assistant outdid Siri. Um, you know, it's no surprise to me that with the advancements in AI and every company such as Samsung and them starting to dabble with AI, right? Because we find AI everywhere. There's so much stuff being done with AI that even today, as a content creator on YouTube, there is now a new thing being instituted as uh, something that we have to disclose uploading content. Like, for instance, if we used any AI software to replicate a person's face, their voice for like any video clip that we use, uh, we have to disclose that now uh, when uploading videos to YouTube. So AI has really kind of just like started to explode over the last two years. And um, you have things like chat GPT, you have uh, what was known as Bard, now known as Gemini. So... Apple, um, while some may have noticed that Apple has been acquiring uh, companies that has to do with AI, like startup companies, development companies, um, a lot of people were expecting that Apple would actually just come out with their own uh, AI system for iOS. And uh, that doesn't seem like it's something that they plan for now. Now, it's not to say that this will never come in the future. We don't know um, because Apple has a totally different idea of uh, what a smartphone should be in their opinion, which is why there's this great divide between iPhone and Android. Um, so they could very well uh, sometime in the future just kind of go um, develop their own. But I guess for the meantime, they were gonna, you know, they want to have a deal with Google in place to use Gemini. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things because it's like, you know, Apple making the deal to get Gemini, Apple caving in and going with RCS. Um, that's kind of, you know, a big step forward for Apple. And I think a lot of us in the tech space can appreciate that. But, you know, besides that, um, when will we see this? If the, you know, if the deal is ironclad and set in stone, when will we see Gemini make its way to iPhones? And, you know, I'm going to go out on a guesstimation and say probably around the same time that they intend to release RCS messaging on iOS. Uh, I think that, you know, those two may correlate together i mean but that's just me um, you know i don't have all the answers to it but um very interesting now before i close out this video do i think that it's going to be a pretty good benefit for gemini to be on uh on iphones i absolutely do i mean this is one thing that that we can remember for the entire time that smartphones started to have this competition between softwares one of the things um that a lot of people would point out and some of you guys who's been around in the tech space for a while will agree with me on this but uh, in the past you know a lot of google applications seem to function and work better on ios right and we're talking about hangouts and youtube and you know uh, google plus and this is all these different apps that are google eccentric seem to have ran better on ios than they did on android and that was one of the biggest complaints that a lot of android enthusiasts such as myself always kind of just pointed out to google like why are you making your google based apps you know run and look much better on ios so this is you know not like a shocker shocker that it's the first time it's happening but you know it's kind of a shocker that you know apple went this route in the whole race to ai so but i mean that's just my thoughts real quick on it and if you guys want to drop your thoughts you guys know where to do that. You guys can put your thoughts, you know, your comments, your emotional outbursts, whatever you want in the description. Um, and I'll read it and check it out later. But thanks for checking out today's video. And I'll talk to you on the next one.